It was boredom at first sight You could hardly call him bright He is no one's Mr. Right So what do I see in him? But then I'm not so ideal I'm not gentle or genteel So the question should be what does I thought you were someone else. Who? What? All right, then what? Ah, uh, nobody. <clears throat> What's for tea? Whatever you care to make. We're going to our families for the evening. Ah. Uh. So? So? So what's going on? Oh, you see, well, I thought you were working. Well, I had the afternoon off. Ah. Oh. So come on, then. Who was I if it wasn't me? <laughs> Marge. Meaning Malcolm's mother or a dollop of butter substitute? Yeah. <laughs> she came round here yesterday. Round here? I found you. Oh, no, no, no. I escaped. <laughs> well, what did she want? Oh, uh, yeah, well, I'm not supposed to say. But you're going to? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't tell Malcolm I told her. You haven't yet. Yeah. Well, she cleaned up. She won on the horses. <laughs> <laughs> the house, top to bottom. Look, Marge might not be my favourite sumo wrestler, but if she cleans up somewhere, it shows. I know, but I undid it. You undid it? Yeah, I put it all back to normal. <laughs> you see, Malcolm thought that you might be annoyed if you found out that his mother had been round here cleaning. Annoyed? Now, why would I be annoyed? So don't tell him I told you. My mother always told me never to trust a man with black eyes. <laughs> Malcolm is a blue. Yeah, well, just wait. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I tell you, Peggy, she's having men round. Brenda, I don't believe it. He jackrabbited it out when I got there. Who did? I didn't actually see him. But I think it was Yogi Bear. Marjorie, love, have you been sampling my Lucasade? It's the nickname of one of their acquaintances. Oh, there'll be some simple explanation. You're too trusting, Peggy. That's your trouble. If you kept that husband of yours on a tighter rein, he'd not have run off. Maybe, but our marriage was always a flexible affair. <laughs> the trouble is, he's still flexing and I've seized up. <laughs> ah, ring. Now, see who's there. Oh, Margie, don't. It'll just be a social call. Well, then she'll know you're being funny. You've never been sociable to her in your life. <laughs> That's not fair. I've never been unpleasant. It's true, I think she's a bossy madam, but I've not let it show. <laughs> After all, if Her Majesty could be pleasant to Mrs Thatcher, I could be nice to Brenda. <laughs> Brenda? What? Never a moment's peace. Hello. Hello, who's that? Hello. Oh, it's Marge. Hello. Hello. Did she recognize you? Hello. No, I don't think so. Hello, I know you're there. Who is that? Is this a trick question? Right, <laughs> like first time. And who, may I ask, is with you? Me? Yes. No, that was the answer. The person with me is me. Who answered the phone? That was me as well, only I had to go. Me ice cream had come to the boil. Oh, was it? <laughs> it was me, I've got a bit of a cold. Now, uh, what was it you wanted? 
Just confirmation. Right, I'll send for the bishop. <laughs> Goodbye to you. And to your friends. All of them. Goodbye to you and your friends, if you've got any. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. <laughs> she didn't answer that phone. Who did? Yogi Bear? <laughs> Heavy cold, indeed. I shall have to let Malcolm know. Now, don't do anything rash. He's got to be too. Now, look, Marjorie. If there is another man in Brenda's life and you tell Malcolm, he'll never forgive you. What do you mean? Bad news. People always want to shoot the messenger. <laughs> it's human nature. But I can't just ignore it. Well, why don't you have a word with the sister? Oh, what good will that do? Well, look, you always said she was the more responsible one. Why don't you tell her what you suspect? I don't suspect, I know. Anyway, she'll just cover for her. No, she won't. Take her into your confidence. She'll understand she's a mother herself. Now, let her find out one way or another. And if there's anything in it, let her spill the beans. You needn't be involved. Oh, seems there's no pleasure left for a mother. <laughs> oh. Hello, Stoneway Motors here, vintage motorcycles of speciality. This is the real Malcolm Stoneway speaking, not the answering machine. Have you? Hello, Malcolm. Lucinda, hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. <laughs> Are your car okay? Running beautifully, thanks to you. So what about that lunch? What lunch? Well, you wouldn't let me pay, so I said I'd buy you lunch sometime. Are you around tomorrow? Tomorrow? Well, Saturday. Actually, yes, yes, I was going to pop in for an hour and say, I've got such a lot on, you see. Fine. So, should I call at, say, 12.30? 12.30? Um... Your fiancé won't mind, will she? Fiancé? Oh, oh, what do you mean, Brenda? Oh, no, 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 we're not, um... No, well, we do live under the same... Uh, but there's nothing fixed. Uh, and, and, and tied down in concrete, so to speak. That's original. Yeah, I, I mean, there's no permanent, um... Well, there's no ring. Hi! Oh, there's no need to ring. But will you just bring the machine round tomorrow? I'll call you back. <laughs> Thanks for calling then. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, just just a customer. Uh, you're early. Yeah, there was some sort of cock up on the northern line, and the train was on time. Oh, Al. Yeah. Al, what was that for? Deceiving me. What? Your mother was round yesterday. Oh, oh, that. Uh, sorry. There was going to be a black eye, only I decided you want to take me bird watching tomorrow, and you're going to need to see where you're going. Tomorrow? It'll have to be the afternoon, because I'm working till one. Oh, so am I. It's all right, then. We could do with some time together. I'm sick of playing nanny to that bouncing Bedouin. Uh, why? Well, so would you, if you were stuck with them all day. No, I, I thought we'd take some to Pam and Davies tonight. Um, would you go and get it? OK. Uh, there's no pleasant around am the corner. I? What do you pay? Okay. Mal? Yeah? Where's the wife? Uh, Rose. Hello? Hello? Yeah, sorry about that, Luce. <laughs> Yeah, it was actually. Listen, apparently I've got to go bird or something. Do you want to cancel? No, I just wanted to make it sooner. <laughs> sooner, yeah, because the parts are arrived and uh, I know you need the space. Brenda? That's right, yes. Well, thanks for calling then. Bye. Well, customer? Yeah, afraid so. Still, it's all business, eh, Mark? Well, that's right, yeah. Well, what's up? Oh, no money. Oh, 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 right. No? Yeah. Great. How many bottles? Uh, one. A good one. Right. Right. Start with that. Hey, Mark. Yeah? Can't get a rosé. I'll get a red and a white and we'll mix them, eh? <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. <laughs> Hi, darling. How did you know it was me? I didn't. Scarlet woman. <laughs> mm. Close your eyes. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Sorry about that. She came back. Shall we make it to her? Oh.
It's 12 o'clock, OK? <laughs> yeah. Is that loose? Is what loose? <laughs> Were you expecting a call? Me? No. You sure? Of course I'm sure. Who was it? Wrong number. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I meant to it. Redial, but I hit nine. That's one of my programme numbers. I got the Lynch's David by mistake. I don't think he recognised me. Well, you're still on that phone! <laughs> Were there any phone calls this afternoon? No. Definitely. Definitely. Is it loose? Is what loose? I don't know. I think your dad's got a screw loose. I rang this afternoon, about three. You were engaged. Ah. Uh... No phone calls? All right, there was one. So? So? Who was it? Can't say. It's a very delicate matter, and this person and I have agreed to say nothing to any other person until I've had a chance to tackle a certain other person about a certain matter. <laughs> and you expect me to believe that? Yes. Right. <laughs> Obviously, for any relationship to succeed, there must be a foundation of mutual support and trust. Hey, doesn't your Uncle Bernard be one of them? That's a truss. <laughs> Anyway, I, I, how would I know? He's not with us, you know. Who? Uncle Bernard. Brenton, we're trying to have a serious discussion. Sorry. I maintain there should be no secrets between man and wife. Don't you agree, Pamela? Definitely. Well, no, big ones. And not just man and wife. Man and dog. Any couple. The woman should not be having men round when the man is out. Glad to hear it. What do you mean? Nothing. Are you getting at me? No, I think he's getting a getting a bit of a cold like I am. Well, give us a hand with the dishes then, David, yeah? For me? Yeah. It sounds like a great idea. This is one of those days I just wish I could turn the subtitles on. <laughs> Brenda, let's talk straight. That's about time somebody did. Right. Well, are you behaving yourself over there? Of course. We have separate rooms and Malcolm always keeps his pyjamas on in the shower. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you being good? You better ask Malcolm. Are you seeing others? Other what? Men. Oh, you mean those things with hairy arms and trousers? You're making this very difficult. Then simplify it. Tell me what you're going on about. Men in the house. Oh, hang on a minute. Have you been talking to Megaphone Marge? We did have a little chat, yeah. And she said... Of course. Well, you'd better tell her that who or what we entertain in our house is strictly between Malcolm and me. Malcolm knows. Well, of course he does. He makes his breakfast. <laughs> yeah, you see, I've got this friend, and he had a, a phone call from another friend, but uh, they went to arrange an innocent lunch together, you see, but uh, my friend didn't tell this other friend who he sort of lives with because he thought that she might not understand that he was going for the business. Is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> relations. I mean, good customer relations. When are you going? Tomorrow. Oh, it's not me. <laughs> well, I must say, Malcolm, I'm impressed. I didn't think your friend had it in him. I wish he hadn't. Why are you telling me? Well, no, you see, I didn't want to get Pam into trouble. What? No, 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 no. Look, what happened, you see, was my friend pressed the wrong button. Yeah? And he got you when he meant to get loose. Loose? Lucinda. Wrong button? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you old dog.
it's my treat for services rendered. Well, we'll go half. Malcolm, no. No, it's all right. Put we'll... it away. You can pay next time. Oh, sorry, that was a bit presumptuous. I mean, you may not want to. I do. I, I will. <laughs> but what about... Well, you're attached. Brenda, well, she won't mind. It's a bit of business, isn't it? Of course it is. Customer relations. <laughs> right. <laughs> so will you tell her? Pardon? Have this lunch. Well, it, it, it's not significant, really, is it? Well, I wouldn't think so. No. <laughs> it's just that there's someone in that car who seems to know you. Brenda. <laughs> Me, Auntie Peggy. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I don't believe that for one moment. Goodbye. Thanks, Albert. Goodbye, Alice. See you on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, he is a love, is that old Mr. Connolly? Doesn't drink himself, but he's driven us halfway round Cheshire to find us a new place. Why so far? Because we've been barred from all the local ones. <laughs> you should be ashamed. Anyway, don't take your jacket off. We're going out. Well, there's no point, Marge. They're closing ten minutes. <laughs> We're going to your place. Oh, we're not chasing Yogi Bear again. Things have got to be sorted. Look, why don't you wait till the sister's had a word? Oh, I've just spoken to her. She says Malcolm knows. Oh, well, then, it's all right. Oh, don't be ridiculous. She's lying. Just covering for her. Now, look, Marjorie, it's best that young people sort out their own lives. We shouldn't interfere. I mean, how do you know that your Malcolm isn't seeing somebody else? <laughs> because if he was, he'd tell me. Anyway, who'd have him? <laughs> <laughs> Going round to Brenda's, I need to have another word with her. Look, Brenda made it pretty clear last night that she is fed up with people interfering. She just met Malcolm's mother. She said any more of it and she'd be on her bike. Yeah, well, that's typical, isn't it? She hasn't even got a bike. <laughs> Come on, we'll drop Sarah off at Mum's. Why, for heaven's sake? Because of the goings-on. Besides which, if there's to be a row, I want both hands free. Why are we going? <laughs> because it's not right. Yeah, but she said Malcolm knows. Well, that makes it worse. I mean, I'm broad-minded, but... No, you're not. Of course I am. People who say I'm broad-minded, but never are. I'm not going to stand here arguing with you. Look, it's not just that. You shouldn't interfere because, well, it cuts both ways. What does? Well, Malcolm's not so squeaky clean. What do you mean? Pamela, he has got someone else. Malcolm! I wasn't going to tell you. The slimy but... toad! Look, it's best we stay out of it. I figure it's a case of sauce for the goose. Well, we're definitely going there now. Yes, but. Now! Right. Hey, Malk. Over to the left. A kestrel? Well, they've all gone. You'll have to have one of my barbicans. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? I think it spotted something. Probably. Yeah. Well, don't get too excited, Mark. You come out in a rash. That, that's right, yeah. Hey, look, an osprey. Where? Driving that Land Rover. What's up with you? Sorry, I, I must be thinking of something else. Well, don't let me interrupt you. They're a noisy lot, them rooks, aren't they? Do you know they're usually made for life? Not like those randy migrants who come over here and shack up with a different mate every year. <laughs> Magpies are the same. You might nick your rhinestone tiara, but they never cheat on the missus. I think we'd better be going back. And swans. What? They pay for life. It's gone a bit cool. I'll tell you what, Malk. Next time we come bird watching, we play a little game. I'll close my eyes and I'll have to guess whether I'm on my own or not. Sorry. Come on. Go. <laughs> Brenda. Oh, you do remember me, then? I had a pub lunch today. You ran off without paying? Of course not. No, I paid. Well, at least, no, I didn't. Mark, if you ever get taken in for questioning, I bet the police give up before you do. <laughs> a customer. I mean, one of my customers, not, not a customer in the pub. I suppose she was a customer in the pub, same as I was. Anyway, we sat outside. She? Yeah, you know, Lucinda. Well, not as well as you do, apparently. Go on. Well, remember I had a car and I fixed it. 
and it was easy really and she offered to you know but i said it didn't matter and, but she wanted to so i thought uh, well she thought she'd buy me lunch and i just thought to mention it because somebody might have seen but it was just business and i thought it was best you knew already are you sure you don't go strike for Geoffrey archer <laughs> i thought i'd just tell you well, was it worth it, it was quite pleasant was it worth the cost of the job on the car oh i see more or less which a bit less well next time make sure it's more eh? right Hey, look. What? There's that castle again. Oh, yeah. Great. You don't know there's anyone else. I've just washed three cereal bowls. Well, maybe Malcolm likes two helpings. Well, someone does for sure. Ah. Oh, that'll be Brenda and Malcolm. They have a key, remember? Well, maybe it's that handsome young man come to borrow a jar of coffee. <laughs> Hello. They're out, all of them. But we were just passing. You better come in. You've met my sister. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? Oh, I mustn't grumble. <laughs> I do, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, how are you, sweetheart? I hear you'll have to be letting your skirts out in a month or two. <laughs> Don't be coarse, Peggy. <laughs> So she's pregnant, that's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed. You see? She's always been like that. <laughs> he didn't tell Malcolm the facts of life till he was 26. <laughs> and then he didn't believe her. I'll go. What do you reckon? Six to four, it's the coffee man. Evens, it's Yogi Bear. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my key. Oh, who are you? I'm David Lynch, Brenda's brother-in-law. Uh, can I help you? A cup of tea would be nice. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Oh, no, no, that'll be telling me. <laughs> uh, lady of the house is through there, is she? Uh, yes. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> Hello, Brenda. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I thought I recognised the wine. Oh, you know him? I'll say. Oh, my head. Are you all right? Uh, uh, do you mind if I sit down? You may as well. You won't be able to tomorrow. <laughs> Are these three ladies, do I know them? Oh, God, not the amnesia routine again. <laughs> Can I have a glass of water, please? Yes, I'll get it. You OK? Uh, well, I'm not sure. You see, there was this blow to the head. You haven't had it yet. <laughs> I told you I'd blow up a rotor. Yeah, but just promise not to start with me, eh? I promise. And we stick to it, all three of us, especially him. Would Hi, Brent. What's going on? That's what we've come to find out. Uh, Bernard, you're right. Who is this? <laughs> he seems to have lost his memory. Oh, now I get it. Now I know Yogi Bear is. Oh, Peggy, this is serious. I think we could have a few words. Oh, no, no, there's been no tipping off. Just stay here. Uh, perhaps we could all have a cup of tea. Uh, yeah, I'll make a cup of tea with you, Brent. Yeah. Well, there's two sugars for me, please. Um, I, I think. <laughs> If you look on top of the wardrobe in my bedroom, you might just find a half bottle of my Lucasade. Will somebody explain to me what's going on here? There's things to be said. Oh, oh, somebody oh. seems to have... Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, yes. 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 oh, Hello, Mum. Have I fallen in a spell? Does he drown me in Chanel? Is he vibrant? Is he out? So what do I see in him? Am I dazzled by his style? Has he made my life worthwhile? Melt me with his smile Don't make me laugh 